So I'm here with Simon Murray from Bidless Vitz. He's on his way to hospital. Um, big day today, getting that knee sorted. He tells me that it's actually, he can walk on it a minute, at the minute with a little bit of a limp because nothing could physically get worse. Um, how are you feeling today? Yeah, f feeling excited for the for the operation now. It's, it's been like a week, nearly two weeks, and it was obviously sad at the time. And obviously an initial shock of I'm going to be out for that length of time. But now I'm over that, I'm, I'm just excited to get this done so I can get on to the, the rehab. Yeah, like the next stage of the, the what next, you need. The next stage. This has never happened to you before, right? You've never had a, a like a major injury like this? Yeah, never. No injury. Never had a, I've never missed a game through injury before. Wow. In my whole career. So that made, I, I, look, I, I count myself lucky that I've, that I've got to 27. Never had an injury, um, I never missed a game or even I never missed training through through injury. Yeah. So I can count myself lucky, but on the other hand, I, I, it's maybe made it worse than like the shock of it coming yeah. in such a bad one. Yeah, yeah, from no injuries to <laughs> nine months. Um, yeah. I mean, look, with this kind of injury, obviously it's going to be a, a difficult process. It's going to take a lot of willpower, a lot of uh, mental strength from yourself. Um, what do you think is going to be the, the biggest key to you making sure that this isn't something that sort of ruins things for your football, for, for, like for your career? I just think the well, the most important thing, obviously after the the operation and the surgeon, like the surgeon fixes or puts in place the the rehab and building the strength up and you know making sure that I do everything right after the after the operation and um, just being professional and. And working on the strength, and basically, yeah, making sure I don't rush back. Yeah, and how important is gonna is, is having the family here? Obviously, you've got a, a, a newborn as well. Yeah. Um, having them around to sort of help you through this is is that going to be a big part for you as well? Yeah. So, the mental side, and obviously, when you're going to to training every day, and you're seeing seeing your teammates playing and in training, and then playing the matches, and, and you know that's what you're missing out. Then, definitely, the the mental side is. They're going to need to like my girlfriend. She's she's uh, actually she was a nurse, so oh, that uh, helps. That's so very helpful. She'll be uh, my private nurse back in, <laughs> in the house. But no, definitely, I think for the mental side. But look, I've never been through an injury, so you guys, are, when we do this um, through the whole journey, yeah, there might be days where I'm miserable. Miserable. And <laughs> normally, I'm a happy character. Yeah. But I'm sure this injury will bring out sides that have maybe that will challenge me in my career and that's what I'm hoping for that will will definitely make me in a, a stronger person when I come out this the other side yeah and, and you know have you been given any sort of uh, indications of what is coming for you now I mean I know you you're very close with Nick obviously through this process at Vitz yeah. um, have you spoken to Nick about sort of, sort of what this is going to entail for you so yeah next next very good um, He's very upfront. He knows his stuff. He's done done these things. I think was it the guy at Vitz had the similar yeah, knee, knee yeah, injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Packer Money went through a, a similar thing. Yeah. So he's told me basically when when the operation is done tomorrow, I'll I'll get out of hospital. The next day we start straight away, um, getting the range back and the movement yeah. of of the knee. So there's no sort of uh, rest period. You you want to get it started straight away. So. He, Nick's very like up to date in everything that he does, and obviously every everyone's discovering the best way to do things. But they used to let you think it was best to rest. Yeah. But yeah. now everything, the the more you rest, they say the worse it is for you. Yeah. You need to get yeah. to get to get okay. You're not doing sprints or you're not lift, lifting weights, but just the thing of the moving and moving. Yeah, because you you don't want to lose uh, any sort of uh, strength. You don't want to lose any kind of movement within that within within your knee. So. I mean, I, I had a, a bit of an ankle problem myself, and one of the first things they said to me was just, just start using it, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what's going to be key for you. Is I mean, luckily for you, you've got a, uh, I suppose, a gym and, and a, a thing to sort out yourself as soon as possible, and, and you've got yeah. professionals around you who can who can help you through that. Yeah, no, and look, I think we're in the we're in the best place for it. Um, Nick's going to give some some good. Uh, Basically, he's going to be my right right hand man through this whole thing. Um, he's been on the phone every day since the injury, yeah. um, asking how I'm feeling, um, 
and you know he knows what it's like for a footballer to to be out. He sees it, sees it all the time. Mm. Players are injured, so like I'm in, I'm in, I'm in good hands. So um, I'm on, I'm with the right man. Yeah. Have you have you spoken to anyone um, in terms of other guys who've been through what you've been through? I mean, I know James Keane had injuries uh, with his knee before in the past. Um, have you spoken to anyone for sort of advice? Yeah. So obviously when. The guys or yourself and me have put this out on social media. There's been a like a few people getting in touch and stuff. Yeah. James being one of them. Um, so I think he's now now that he's got a doctor's degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, he likes to talk, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, but look, people have got in touch and say, look, obviously it's going to be hard, and they've like given me their experience. Obviously, James has had a few bad bad knee problems, so mm. he just said, look. Um, it will be fine you just need to do the right things and make sure that if you do the right things then it will prolong your career yeah you know i don't know maybe back 20 20 30 years ago this was maybe a, a career ending yeah injury. no definitely, definitely um my dad when he played he he had uh, problems with his knee and i can't remember what it was it was a ligament but basically just strap the leg and go and play yeah hope for the best um, <laughs> And that that's why yeah. their careers back in the day were they weren't maybe as strong athletes or they didn't have the the scientific knowledge behind the game. So um, yeah, there's been people getting in touch and stuff. So it's always good and, and it makes you feel better as well, knowing that when you've never been injured or you've never had a bad injury like this, when when somebody's been through it and, and they've came through the other side and had a continued to be successful in yeah, your career. Yeah, yeah. Gives you a little bit of faith going forward. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, And has, has Gavin said anything to you about sort of uh, what he'll be doing while you're while you're recovering? <laughs> well, he obviously has... Look, when, as soon as I got injured the, the next day, he gave me a message and asked how it was and stuff like that um, until we found out, obviously, the extent of the injury. Yeah. Um, and then, look, he just said, I need to get in the gym and just be with the right people but Gavin will be working on the, the team and hopefully continuing a successful season but the team has started quite well um, disappointed like that's the worst thing I, I felt like we could we could do something this season and we still can it's just I will not, not feel a big <laughs> yeah. part of it yeah. and like it's, that's like, I've, I've do, you, do you get a medal for eight minutes or four minutes whatever hopefully. it was <laughs> <laughs> If we do, I'll be doing the John Terry. Yeah, <laughs> full, full kit, knee brace on. <laughs> but look, the, and I don't know. I'm, I'm still, I'm still uh, positive in my mind. Where, if you look, nine months is the, is is the likelihood because, what the doctor said or the surgeon said, was, um, basically, you will be strong in your legs, but it's the bone that needs to heal. Yeah around so it takes a certain amount of time even though you might feel strong the bone needs to become strong yeah so it's yeah. not like my, mus my muscles will still be, be strong and when i'm building they will get stronger yeah. so i'm still i'm still in my mind i think I, i'm gonna like i'm not gonna come back and rush it but there's something in my mind that i would that always you always want to come back and fingers, fingers yeah. crossed it's not the full nine months yeah fingers crossed um, it's not. Sure. And just tell us a little bit about what they're actually going to do. I mean, I know that in the past they've they've done things with ACLs where you take part of the hamstring and you use that to patch up and, and fix the ligaments. What are they actually going to be doing with with yours? Yeah. So the surgeon is. I went into the to see him on on Friday, and he he just explained all what's happening. So what what I've actually got is a ruptured ACL, which is basically split. It's so completely gone, right? Com complete, Rupture mean it's a complete, complete snap, gone. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm I'm able to drive now because it doesn't really matter. Yeah. If it was maybe torn a little bit, they wouldn't want me yeah. driving. Cause yeah. Like you be... say, you can't make it worse. Exactly. So um, what they're going to do is they're going to take uh, my quad muscle or something from the quad right. and basically screw four holes at either side of the knee pull that through the knee and joint so that yeah. will be the new ligament okay. so it must be the ligaments from the quad or something the muscle yeah yeah just the, to kind of replace what is replace what what's gone, gone. Yeah. and did they remove the the leftover from what was there do you know i would imagine that what they'll do is clean it clean it yeah. out and yeah. then put that one in and, and from the scan 
the MRI that we had, the meniscus was showing that there was a, a tear. Right. Well, they're all, so what they've got to do is they've got to fix that as well while we're doing this. So they've got, if they go in and there's a tear on the meniscus, but there's no blood supply to that part of the knee, mm. then they just shave it off. Right, okay. But if there is a blood blood supply, then they'll repair it because you need a blood supply yeah, yeah. To, that makes to, to heal. Yeah, yeah. So they, do, they probably don't tell you, you don't need to know massively the ins and outs, but I think he's covered quite well and I know roughly what they're going to do now. So So what's, what's the next step then? Obviously, uh, you've got this then um, you've got to go see Nick at Vitz on, on Wednesday and start that little bit of, of, of uh, that first steps of rehab. Um, what, what is your sort of first milestone? Like what's the first thing that you're, you're aiming for? I think so, the surgeon and Nick roughly said after about six to eight weeks is when you can start probably putting weight on um, the knee and cycling and then yeah. light jogging. Um, but no, no turning or like agility yeah. work. It's mostly just getting the, getting this, getting the, the body moving again. So the cycling and you know running in the straight line, just yeah. no turning. And then from that, we'll be building the strength up. So once the six weeks of the range movement has has happened, and you're able to do that, then it would be the strength and you know getting the knee, the knee, knee joint moving at a bit, maybe a higher speed. Yeah, yeah, and. and and just lastly, I mean, we're nearly at the hospital now. Um, yeah, not fast. Do, do you uh, do you foresee sort of how your mental state is going to be after the operation? You know, at this minute in time, like you say, you're excited to get it done. You want to sort of, sort of start the journey, but when you come out of surgery and you you know that you've been I suppose cut open and they've they've fixed yeah. fixed whatever was wrong. Um, do you think that your mental state will change a little bit? Do you think that might be a, a quite a difficult adjustment period when you first come out of the, the theatre? Um, yeah, obviously, as a person, I'm normally quite a positive person, but I think this is going to this is going to be probably the biggest challenge I've had in my career. Obviously, we've not been injured and stuff, yeah. so I can see it probably affecting the way you feel. And yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Mostly, when you play football, you've always up, you always want to play, no matter, train, play, the games is the best bit, so it's probably when it gets to that stage, and I've been I've been in the rehabilitation for maybe two months, but you've still got seven months left, Yeah. and you're seeing the guys playing, you're seeing the guys train every yeah, day. Yeah, and you're that, you're just not yeah. not too far off, but not quite there yet. Which which will be hard, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as you say, we've got this uh, diary, well, this journey through... Mm. So I'm sure you guys will all, all Yeah, look, see. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of chapters to this. I'm sure there's going to be days when you're feeling really good about it and days when you feel like crap. So yeah. um, I think, look, I mean, the, the, I suppose the nice thing for you is that, look, you're not afraid of hard work, you know? Not, yeah. You're know, working as a, a builder at one yeah. point, um, done you know? Some, done some building in the past. <laughs> now I just need to build my knee. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> so you're not, you're not afraid of putting in the, the, the hard slug and making sure that you do this properly. Yeah, and Nick has definitely said that he pushes his pushes the injured guys more and he doesn't mean by running them up hills or stuff like that but yeah just every day working the strength working the thing that we need to do next so that will be mentally hard and i'm sure nick will uh, days where he's fed up of me and i'm and fed up versa, him. Yeah. but um i think that's just that's going to be part of it so i think yeah there'll be ups and downs that we'll see yeah well this is the first episode with simon um, we're going to be doing different bits around this whole journey for him. Uh, it's called Murray's Mission on, on Twitter. That's the, the hashtag we've gone with. Uh, and hopefully he's going to stay positive, but I'm sure there's going to be a few days when it's going to be very, very tough. I'll be touching base with Simon uh, relatively regularly, hoping once a month. Uh, for the most part, it's going to be him at home, at the gym, uh, and he's going to be sending through different aspects of his recovery. So, like I say, follow us along with the journey with uh, with Bidvitz and, and with Sokoloduma. Uh, Look forward to the next chapter. Cheers.